Hi, we're still looking at exponential equations, except we've got a little more complicated. We want to solve this for x. And again, it's no more complicated because we have x on both sides of the equation, and we don't have things to the same base. But first things first, what do we even have? We have 2 to the power of 3x, and that's multiplied by 8, which is raised to the power of x minus 2. And that is all equal to 4, which is itself raised to the power of 2x minus 7. Okay, so how are we going to get this? We've seen before that if we had everything to the same base, that means the exponents must equal. That means somehow we have to get the same base on both sides. And remember, when we're looking at changing the base, we want to figure out something that can be raised to a certain power to become 8, 4, and 2. So in our case, we think, well, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 3 would give us 8, and 2 to the power of 2 would give us 4. So we can make these all to the base 2. So 2 stays the same, 2 to the 3x. 8, I can rewrite it as 2 to the 3. Remember, I'm allowed to do this because I'm not actually changing anything. 2 to the power of 3 is, by definition, 8. I'm leaving it as 8, I'm just changing how I wrote it. I'm writing it in a more convenient way for this problem. But that's still raised to the power of x minus 2. And now we're going to do the same thing with 4. Rather than writing 4, I'm writing 2 squared. Still 4, it's just written in a convenient way for us. Great, now we're just applying the exponential rules. So, go through it very methodically, 2 to 3, that stays the same, 2 to 3x. Now this, remember, an exponent raised to the power of an exponent, they multiply. So we get 2 and 3 times x minus 2. And we're going to do the same kind of thing on this side, where this exponent is multiplied by that. So 2 times 2x minus 7. And so this is still 2 to 3x. This we can actually multiply out. We get 2 to 3x minus 6. And this is equal to 2 to the 4x minus 14. And remember, we have two exponents, or two, yeah, two exponents, two things multiplying together. We add the exponents. Since they're the same base, we just add the exponents to combine them. So we get 3x plus 3x minus 6. And that's all equal to 2 to the 4x minus 14. And now that we have the same base on both sides, we can set these exponents equal. They must be equal. If the bases are the same, this must equal that. So I'm going to combine these. This is 3x plus 3x. That's giving us 6x minus 6 equals 4x minus 14. Great. Now we're just solving for x, like we've done many times. So what I'm going to do is subtract 4x from both sides to get the x's over here. As always, that's an arbitrary, cho uh, arbitrary choice. I'm choosing to bring the x's to the left side. So I get 6x, well, you know what? We don't need to write that step out, I think. We have 6x minus 4x, which is 2x. And then we have minus 6. And that's equal to our minus 14 on this side, because these two have cancelled. But, we'll add 6 to both sides to get x on its own, or at least 2x on its own. So we have 2x equals minus 8. And as always, if we want to get x on its own, do the opposite of what's being done. So in this case, divide by 2. And finally, we would show x is equal to minus 4. So, we're able to simplify this down, and as always, if you're unsure if that's right, go back and check. Plug that in, see that the left side equals the right side, and hopefully everything worked out okay.